Hi guys, we're here with John Parkin at the Mind Body Spirit Show. And John, you've got um, a new book coming out, and I thought if it's okay just to have just a few words about it and the tone of it and why you wrote it and anything that comes. Well, this is the book. This is a book that's out now. It's been out a little while. It's called Fuck It Therapy, um, and we're also bringing out a new version of the original book, which is called Fuck It: The Ultimate Spiritual Way, which is actually the best-selling spiritual book by a UK author. So these things are are kind of working. It kind of seems to be really ringing a bell for people, the idea that by saying something that's kind of regarded as dirty in our culture, it can actually be spiritual or therapeutic. But it, it kind of works, and the best way to do it is to start using it. And we're standing next to this um, break the glass for emergency. We are indeed. here, And this is kind of how fuck it works. It's a kind of emergency <laughs> technique that when you need it, you say something that's for some people is quite strong but you say it and it really helps us to relax and it, thus it can be a, a spiritual way, the idea of letting go a kind of Taoist way and can also be therapeutic as well. So um, we use, we, it works, I mean I write a lot about it, this is a, a more in-depth book that we've written, Fuck It Therapy, okay. which is the kind of detail of stuff that we teach on our retreats, we run Fuck It Retreats uh, in Italy which is where I live. I've been running those for about 10 years. But this is really catching on. People are really loving this as an idea uh, that actually swearing can be both spiritual and therapeutic, but it's certainly working. Um, and the last thing I'll say is that it probably works because fuck it is pretty unique in our language for pointing at the uh, cause of most of our stress and our problems, which is that we worry about things that really don't matter so much in the grand scheme of things. So saying fuck it does allow us to let go because it allows us to get perspective. It allows us to realize that all those things we are getting het up over really don't matter so much. Most things that we worry about don't matter so much. Um, so it kind of works for that and people really get it. But if you want the detail, I mean, start by saying it. Start by saying fuck it whenever you feel stressed or you're in pain about something and see how it works. But you want the detail of how this works. In big detail, then it's uh, worth reading these books. Wonderful. I'm totally with you. I think when I say fuck it, I get like a, an opening in the heart chakra. Yeah. And there's a letting go. It's almost like Atlas putting down the world. I mean, what am I doing to myself? Kind yeah, yeah. of like, fuck that. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I'm totally with you. Well, he does. It's like, um, normally we get so, I mean, we're so lost in stuff that we don't have any perspective. And sadly, they, the one of the, the, the few times that we get perspective is when something bad happens. So uh, when we get sick or we know somebody that's sick uh, or we get fired from our job, whatever it is, when, when dodgy stuff happens to us, suddenly we kind of realise that most of the time we're stuck in all these things. So uh, the idea here is that you say fuck it and you get perspective, I suppose, before perspective gets you. Beautiful. Thank you very much, John. Thank you. John C. Parkin, the author of uh, the Fuck It books, and we are Love TV.